Welcome back to Drive World. I know that I just made the best money making guide, but they just added a new way to make money faster. For this method, you'll want one of these trucks. First being the Casper, second being the Fully, and the free version, the Casper TRC, and the weekly challenges. If you're able to spend money on it, I would definitely recommend the Fully e for the trailer delivery job. Because this car is heavy, it's really easy to not flip it. Compared to the Casper TRC where it flips on every turn. Oh. 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 And the normal Casper is fine, it's just way slower than the other two. And instead of going into the GPS system and going to jobs and clicking the trailers, the better way is to go to drag strip and drive over to this trailer delivery spot. Because this is such an open area, it's so easy to get further away destinations, which will give you more money. As you can see from those few minutes of driving, I was able to make $43,000. As you can see, the only problem with this though is that the trailer is heavier than it, so it's gonna make it spin out more. <laughs> and if you take a turn too tight, then you might even flip it over, and the trucks currently don't even flip back over once you flip over. <sighs> even with all these downsides, it's able to get around a million an hour. Which, compared to food deliveries getting around 800,000, this is definitely way better. And for the Casper TRC customizations, I just maxed out everything. And put off-road tires, and race brakes, and I kept the stock gearbox. Moving on to the full E, I maxed everything in here. Got race tires, and race brakes, and an 8-speed in it. This truck is definitely slower, but it doesn't have the issue of oversteering or flipping over. And there we are with a closer delivery, so it's not going to be giving us as much money. Now for the fastest way to complete these trailer deliveries. What you want to do is keep the stock gear box, and I just move the first gear a little bit further back. Once you have a trailer and you're driving and you spam F, the car will for some reason start to speed up. And as you can see, the car is already going faster than it did before. As you can see in this job, I was able to get around 200 miles per hour at a max speed compared to around 110 if you don't use this glitch. And I just want to remind you that this is a glitch and it might be patched in the future. So if you want to make money fast, you should probably do it now before it's fixed. But if you're not using this glitch, the Casper TRC is probably the better option. And now to show how good these methods are, I'll put a 30 minute timer up and we'll see how much money I can make.
All right, and here we are after the 30 minutes. I'm actually really surprised that I didn't flip it all. This time I got around $600,000 from 30 minutes, which is around $1.2 million an hour. So if you do this right, this is definitely one of the best methods. And now arguably the best method, we are gonna be using the full E with the F spam method. Yeah, this is a pretty bad first delivery. I think I'm going to restart. All right, take number two. Well, here we are with the most annoying delivery. This is the only trailer delivery spot that makes you back up. Oh, it's it, the game definitely just heard me. It's just going to give me this the rest of the time. I think this is going to be my last delivery, but I'll just go back over and drive around until the timer is at 30. And there we go. And I'll stop and we'll see how much money I made. All right, from the full E glitch, I was able to get around 700,000, which is actually pretty similar to what I got with the TRC. I hope this helped. One of you, let me know down in the comments if you have any other good money-making methods that you like doing more than the trailer deliveries. And I'll see you in the next video. For anyone still here, if you use code DOUBLE5, you'll get a free $30,000.